Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for the collective. Um, this is going to be a general reading. So my spill is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements to have a more clear and concise message and reading for you. Um, this is also going to be timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. For anyone that may be new, welcome. As I said, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am intuitive, I'm empathic, and I am also clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into the readings and it tends to blend very beautiful with the messages in the uh, tarot cards. Right now, we have Alex Isley and the name of the song is Into Orbit. So I feel like um, the first thing I felt is that you are meeting someone that's literally has you on cloud nine. Like you feel like the stars aligned you with this perfect person, with this person that's just literally like um, you're, you're feeling elated, you're feeling overjoyed. Um, you're almost feeling like you're dreaming. This is like a wish fulfillment is what I'm picking up on. Um, so whoever this person is, it's like they are a dream come true is what I'm picking up. So for anyone who may be new, I would like to um, welcome you. Hopefully uh, you stay a while. Hopefully the messages will resonate with you. Um, and to all of those who return, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I appreciate the love. I appreciate your shows of, of kindness. Um, my soul sister, Divine Rain, thank you so much for your love donations. Um, to all of you beautiful ladies who have been donating, I am truly humbled. Because um, you don't have to do it. I don't go out of my way asking every five minutes. Um, you know, it's, it's in the link. So if you feel so inclined, it, it you know, it's a beautiful thing. But um, I do appreciate, you know, you all reciprocating that love that way. Um, so thank you, beloveds. Thank you so much. That is truly, truly a blessing. Um, I want to thank anyone who comes on uh, this channel and just shows love, whether you're leaving comments, um, liking the video is very helpful. It does contribute to the channel just by getting me into the algorithm. So I appreciate that as well. But I just wanted to um, go ahead, do a temperature check in. Um, I was going to see uh, who was lurking. You know, I kind of feel the need to uh, pick up on that energy, but I don't want to call it the they pray and pray in your downfall. So we're just going to do an energy check in. Temperature check, if you will. Okay. So let's go ahead, call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, deities, spirit team, ascended masters, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a beautiful, beautiful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. Help us to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of the cards. And so it is, so mote it be. And we are also protected from evil eyes. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe. Anyone throwing anything may be returned to sender instantly and infinitely. So it is, so mote it be. Ashe. So right now we have um, your On My Mind. And this is by Kim. I'm going to use my deck. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. We got Baba Ogun, breakthroughs, victories, success. So I do feel like there is going to be some sort of breakthrough. Maybe somebody who's thinking of you is finally going to take um, that step to reaching out. It's finally going to take, you know, that step to contacting you, to communicating. Um, they're getting closer to it. Somebody's thinking about you constantly or you're thinking of someone constantly. This is someone that, um, you know, when I hear you're on my mind, I feel like this is somebody that made dreams of another person. Um, just constantly carrying someone in their spirit. 
Maybe you feel like you're constantly thinking of someone and you don't understand why. Um, and it's because they're thinking of you. It's because that's, um, you know, you're in their energy. They're in your energy, rather. But with Baba Ogun, I feel like there's going to be a major breakthrough. Something beautiful is going to unfold. And just underneath that is uh, financial um, freedom. So for some of you all who have been struggling financially, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough for you monetarily. Um, you know, some of you all may have been waiting for a job, um, you know, for a job um, inquiry, waiting to hear from the job that you interviewed with. Uh, maybe you're waiting for a business loan or some sort of uh, business deal to go through. I feel like it's going to be very successful, even if you already have a career or a business I feel like there's gonna be um, there's gonna be some expansion I feel like there is uh, things are going to start flourishing growing um, and it's gonna be successful and Baba Ogun is bringing this I feel like many of you are also have been really just focused on healing loving yourselves taking care of yourselves um, selfish loving me myself and I and enjoying getting to know me better you're just enjoying your solitude so many of you could be single right now and that's why I was picking up with that Into Orbit song. Somebody is coming in. Somebody's approaching you. And this is someone that thinks of you a lot, apparently, because we have Kim playing You're On My Mind. And these are intimate thoughts that this person is thinking. It isn't just, you know, this is like a secret admirer I'm picking up. So we have Be Healthy. Health is wealth. Um, health, health is wellness. So some of you all may have... Um, started fasting or detoxing your bodies, you know, um, just to get back on schedule. I feel like you have a lot of beautiful things coming in. So a couple of cards just flew away. So I feel like these are your messages. All of these cards just broke free. So we have Baba Ogun, breakthroughs, victory, success, came right back out. We have believe you, um, believe you can and you will. We have be healthy, health is wellness. We have financial freedom, success. We have selfish loving me, myself, and I. All the same cards we just saw came right back out. Then we have incubus succubus. You are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external, and then breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. You're, um, you're powerful and owning it congrats so what i'm seeing here is that you have broken free from something right somebody that you broke free from is finally seeing that you are beautiful in every fashion of the word i feel like this is somebody that may have taken you for granted scorpios um and i feel like they're starting to see you in a new light because you have a lot of wish fulfillment coming in there's a lot of uh positive things that could be happening in your lives some of you all may have uh, received a promotion. Some of you all may have relocated. Some of you all may have started a business and the business is flooring, flourishing. Uh, some of you are very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. You've set, you know, you've set healthy boundaries and you've put a guard up, you know, so as to protect your peace, protect your peace of mind, to protect your sanity. Um, I feel like you all were dealing with some sort of attachments in the past. Um, there was definitely some karmic lessons you've learned, but you've broken free from those, um, from the things that was kind, uh, kind of blocking your blessings, stealing your joy. This is like um, energy vampire energy uh, with incubus succubus. This could have been somebody who had uh, some sort of addictions, um, whether sexual, drinking, drugs. Um, this is someone who's like, you know, they hold on to... Um, it's like they saw your light and they tried to hold on to you, but they were also kind of blocking you from your peace, your happiness, your joy. And I feel like with this energy, um, you broke free from it. You know, some of you all started to really devote time to loving on yourselves, you know, self-love, self-care. Um, you really started to prioritize your needs. Uh, you really started to notice your own beauty, you know, realize that you were gems, that you were um, deserving of the absolute best and I feel like when you broke free from someone they started to recognize that in you as well um, we have Nas black girl lost so for some of you all I feel like this was um, you know maybe if you are 
you know, um, melanated queens, you know, maybe for a long time you were lost. You know, maybe some of you all, uh, you know, needed to heal that child within, that inner child, which is why you were attracting these type of toxic connections. This is like codependent. Um, this is definitely somebody who, um, who has like, like I said, some sort of afflictions, you know, maybe some of you all suffered from uh, depression and didn't see your own worth and value. So you allowed others to come in and just kind of take you for granted. Um, but I feel this was like more so like self-sabotage. I feel like the more you started to work on yourself, you know, the more you started to focus on, um, you know, what was best for you emotionally as well as, you know, mentally, uh, spiritually, financially, um, that's when things started to improve. Um, maybe for a long time, you, you didn't feel you had the ability to stand direct, you know, but I feel like that optimism, that hope that drove you to, you know, proving yourself wrong because you learned that, you know, self-love makes you more attractive here. You know, you eventually realize that walking away from something that was toxic, that was kind of like, like holding you back, blocking you from your joy and your peace. Um, it was necessary for you to cut that off. It was necessary for you to, um, you know, look at yourself. Uh, when you are being selfish uh, to the point where you're, you're showing yourself the love um, and not really, you know, uh, allowing other people to demand your time and your energy, um, this changes the whole trajectory of your life, of the direction you're going in. And I feel like um, as you started to focus more on the self, you started to recognize, realize just how beautiful you were and just what you brought to the table. And not only did you realize this, but I feel like others started to see you um, in that same light. So it's like you started to radiate the confidence, the self-love. Um, you started to you know, stand taller. Um, and you started to more importantly believe in your ability to do what it was you needed to do, whether that was to be that single woman raising the children or that single man, you know, running the household. Um, you chose yourselves. And this is why I feel like there's wish fulfillment coming in. This is why I was picking up on you being completely elated, overjoyed um, and really feeling like you on cloud nine because there's a major breakthrough that's taken place. And I feel like this breakthrough is leading to some sort of, um, you know, victory. It's, a, it's, it's uh, emotional as well as like financial uh, fulfillment. You know, you're going to feel content. Um, and I feel it's because you broke yourselves free from something. And someone's now seeing you, you know, in rare form. It's like they see you in this light, you know, because they never acknowledged it before. But I feel in your absence, you know, um, your absence is heavily felt. So this is why that person was thinking about you constantly. He was on their mind. See, dreams, don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from. And it says believe. And remember, you have believed. So I feel like a lot of you, as I said, you started to um, focus on you know, healthy ways to take care of yourself, whether that was just, you know, healing thyself. Um, and in healing thyself, you begin to love yourself. You begin to know your worth. You begin to learn your love language. But I also feel like, you know, some of you all started to hone some of those skills, some of those talents, some of those gifts. Uh, someone also realized that you were their wish fulfillment. Someone was having heavy dream activity, seeing you in their dreams, waking up only to uh, an empty bed, or this is vice versa. Maybe this is your energy where you're seeing someone in your dreams, and it's almost like you don't want to wake up from that. Um, I had my soul sister, um, Lady Scorpius Tarot. Uh, she commented on uh, one of my videos saying how she had a very lucid dream, and um, it felt so real. She was in, um, you know, like a spiritual union with her divine masculine, and the love was so strong and then she woke up and it was like, oh man. But it's like the two of you are together in the 5D, I feel. I feel like there's just a lot of entanglements that need to um, be sorted through in order for you all to come into union. Um, but this is like, you know, somebody's recognizing that you are wish fulfillment. Um, they're seeing your beauty. It's, you're, you're like, you're beautiful in more ways than one. It's not just physical beauty. Um, they're not just attracted to how you dress or how you look. 
Um, they attracted to who you are. They're attracted to your spirit. It's like this person carries you in their spirit because you're on their mind constantly. They think of you all the time and they're obviously dreaming of you, whether daydreaming or whether at night this person thinks of you a lot. I do feel this person um, does have some some kind of addictions. Uh, they could also have some sort of attachments. Maybe this person uh, got caught up in some sort of, um, you know, karmic relationship and they felt blocked uh, from this connection or it was blocking them from you. Um, and they had to break themselves free from some sort of toxic, um, some so toxic soul tie, uh, you know, and they had to do this themselves. But with dreams, this person dreams of you constantly, dreams of you daily, thinks of you all the time. And we have um, Loaded Lux, and this is called Right. This is featuring Red Man and Method Man, so Loaded Lux. And the name of this album is You Gonna Get This Work. So somebody definitely um, feels like you're the right fit for them. I feel like this person knows that they didn't treat you right. And look at that messages on the bottom of the next deck that I will be using to clarify. And the number seven. So this person does communicate with you. There's a lot of dream activity. The seven deals with the solar, um, the solar, the crown chakra. So I do feel like, as I said, I was picking up on this person like, you know, um, carrying you in their spirit and thinking of you all the time, dreaming of you. Um, this is somebody that may communicate with you telepathically, intuitively. They may visit you in the astral, um, you know, in the 5D, you know, and this is, um, you know, like Kim was saying, somebody that's, you know, you're always running across their mind, you know, it's like they, and they're ready to take action. They're ready to, you know, either send you a letter Remember, I was saying you had a secret admirer. This person's watching you by some means, whether this is online. Maybe they've set up a dummy account and they're able to watch you online um, and just watch your posts, see what you're saying, see where your mind is at. Because this is someone that you've, um, you know, you've had to break free from. Or maybe this is just one of those connections where this is a, like a past life connection. Or maybe if this is someone from your past, this person had to learn um, you know, they've had to learn some lessons. They've had to go through some dark night of the soul journey. I feel like this person mirrored a lot with you. I feel like this was a like a mirror, you know, mirror reflects same as the moon. So I do feel like this person does. Um, they were could, you know, possibly hiding something or maybe keeping secrets of some sort. But there is a message that's going to come in. Someone will either call you, text you. Uh, email you, send you an actual letter. Uh, but this is someone, I feel ma a masculine because this is like a masculine's hand. So I do feel like a masculine ladies is going to initiate some point of contact with you. And we have Billie Holiday um, now or never playing. So this person definitely feels like it's now or never or else they're going to lose you because this person sees um, just how attractive you are. You're radiating, you know, like I said, this love, this light and you're being very selfish right now. So it's like this person knows it's now or never or they could possibly lose this opportunity. So they're going to send this connect uh, this this communication, this letter, this email. They're going to contact you, call you. They're going to reach out. I feel somebody's reaching out. And I feel like somebody's going to be like, they're going to feel like they're on cloud nine because this maybe this is something you've been waiting for. This is somebody you've been holding in your spirit, holding on to as well. Believe you can and you will, you know? So it's like you always knew that this connection would um, develop, would form, would manifest. Maybe you are the one manifesting it so let's see what's coming and going out going on i do see with this incubus succubus there was some sort of restrictions some sort of constraint some sort of blockage and i do feel like this was another person so there's a couple of messages okay there's too many cards in the upright but the main one i see is this bad health and remember you had be healthy health is wellness so somebody could be ill right now being that this 31 breaks down to four, I feel like this is more so uh, somebody, you know, being heartbroken because that deals with the heart chakra. 
So I feel like somebody is recovering from heartbreak, you know, and remember breaking generational curses. So this is like an energy of recovery, recuperating, you know, seeing clearly, you know, whatever illusions, whatever delusion someone was under, they're now, you know, breaking free from it because they were, uh, they were stuck in something very toxic. Incubus, succubus is like that leech. It's an energy vampire. This is somebody that leeches off of you, so they live vicariously through you. It's like a parasite, you know? And so we have soul on ice. So somebody is cold-blooded. I feel like somebody was definitely dealing with a dark entity because we have um, Ra's cause. This is called soul on ice. So with this incubus, succubus, this, is, this wasn't easy to break free from. Somebody was trying to keep someone stuck, trying to keep someone stuck in a cold, restricted, toxic tie. It was like they were trying to block them. It's like, you know, this incubus succubus, it creates uh, an X, which is like a blockage. So someone was trying to block someone from having, you know, some sort of beautiful connection. And so we have um, judication here. So somebody, if you are going through some sort of legal uh, proceedings or process, I feel like things are going to rule in your favor, especially with Baba Ogun. He's bringing a major breakthrough. Someone is possibly getting a divorce also. I feel like with this three, you know, this could be the v divine feminine. I feel like you all have dissolved some sort of, um, you know, some sort of uh, marriage like you've, you're, you're going through with, with getting the divorce proceedings. And I say feminine energy because the three in traditional tarot uh, is the empress. And then on here, you can see all of the books are stacked up and it's on the feminine side. So I feel like for a lot of the feminines who is dealing um, with some sort of court proceedings or dealing with child support cases or dealing with something pert pertaining to um, the judicial system, I feel like it's gonna rule in your favor. Um, I feel like you've learned a lot from this. I feel like it was a lesson learned. This was like, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. All those books will definitely denote like the message, you know, the lessons you've learned, um, the valuable lessons that you've learned, learning from these karmic um, connection, this karmic connection. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven books. So seven books and then there's three. So I do feel like, you know, you have um, evolved in your wealth of knowledge. I feel like you literally are very intuitive, very clairvoyant, very uh, psychic. I feel like you're very psychic. It's like you've leveled up and you've learned to love yourself. You've learned to take care of you. You've learned to put you first. You've learned to not allow someone to, you know, keep you as an option or to treat you like you are less than. It's like you realize the value of loving thyself. And because the judge is leaning on the feminine's side, I do feel like, you know, for the feminines, the, you, you're, you're receiving good karma. Something that you have been really working hard to achieve is like manifesting, because this three is really about, you know, also manifesting um, through your own intentions, you know? Three also deals with the solar plexus, so I do feel like you're standing in your power now. You're stronger, you're wiser, you're more courageous. So that's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have occupation. Believe you can and you will. So she's sewing here. So I believe like a lot of you, you know, started to sew in good faith. You started to focus on your talents, your gifts. You started to hone those skills. You started to pursue uh, opportunities within your own career. You know, maybe some of you all started to just, you know, hone in on some of those hobbies and talents that you enjoyed, you know, when you were younger or when you, that you enjoyed prior to a relationship. And it's like you started to really um, hone that skill, master it in some way, you know, and with this lamp right by her crown chakra, I feel like you got a lot of new ideas and you said, you know what, I'm going to pursue this full time. And it was just 2424, that's 66. So that's six, six is what breaks down to 12, that's three, so yes. And then this is the 34, that's seven. So I do feel like you received a lot of downloads. You know, a lot of ideas started to come to you, started to flood your mind. But I also feel like you, um, some of you all may have um, 
you know, decided to cut yourself free from a particular career and to go towards your dreams, to go after some sort of um, some new endeavor. You know, you just believed you 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 could and, and you are going to achieve that goal. Some of you realize that your passion was sewing, fabrics, you know, maybe you all are fashion designers, maybe you sew, um, maybe you have a platform where you are, um, where you're utilizing your hands, you're handcrafting um, materials, whether you're making candles, you know, oils, anointing oils, maybe you're handcrafting jewelry, or like I said, you are, you know, you're sewing, you're, you're like uh, stylists, designers, and you're, you're believing in that dream. You're not, you're not, um, you're not allowing anything to derail you from achieving this. It's like you're willing to put in the hard work. You're willing to put in the time. You're willing to dedicate that time to your passion. And we have the OJs forever mine. So yeah, maybe some of you all um, met someone at your place of employment, you know, where, at your occupation. And with believe you can and you will, maybe you are looking to reconnect with someone. Let's see. So believe you can and you will. So someone feels you're, you're forever theirs, or maybe you feel someone is forever yours. And with believe you can and you will, the divine is saying that this union, you know, can manifest. Maybe somebody had to break free from someone in order to go towards what they wanted. So divine spirit wise, believe you can and you will here for Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. See that Des despair. Someone is in despair. Someone feels a lot of hurt, a lot of turmoil, a lot of conflict. A lot of internal conflict. Someone was betrayed. Someone that was loyal to another person was betrayed by that person. And they feel broken down. You know, they feel like they've lost it all. You know, and with forever mind. This could be someone who is in despair because um, maybe they didn't see your worth. You know, you believed you could break free from something. And, and you know, because this says not hiring, you know, um, yeah, it says not hiring. So somebody is struggling financially. You know, maybe someone was in a codependent relationship. Somebody was dealing with someone. There's another message here. So pathway. So someone definitely um, didn't see your worth, but you knew your own worth and your own value. And I feel like with this 32, you know, maybe somebody communicated something to you. Somebody communicated um you know, so a message that was very, like, cold. You know, maybe you felt like they was disloyal. Maybe you felt like this person didn't see your worth and value. I just feel like somebody doesn't see someone's worth and value. But regardless of how others see you, it's like you got to believe in your own ability. And that's probably what you held on to. You know, you, you had to um, know your own worth. And that created a new pathway, a new a new opening because there's butterflies here. So this is like transforming, you know, changing your mind from, you know, the I can't because it says believe you can. So this person here is saying I can't. But on the card, it says believe you can and you will. You will create a new pathway, a new, you know, a new um, beginning for yourself. That 35 reduces to eight. So this is about remaining hopeful, you know. That's what belief is, you know, believing and knowing you can, remaining optimistic, sending up those prayers and petitions and asking spirit. And somebody said, you know, forever mine. So it's like forever yours. And that was the OJs. So what I'm seeing here, you know. Maybe somebody feels regret because they didn't see your worth and value. And now they see you, you know, as someone who has, you know, you're on a whole new voyage. You know, this is somebody who could have left you with all the bills. You could have been struggling. And now you're having this victory. Now you're having a lot of success. 
we have high honors. So it's like you have a healthier belief system, you have a healthier way of being. And it's because you've transformed, it's because you've allowed yourselves to go through that startling metamorphosis and, and change your own mindset. This is about changing your own mindset, regardless of how things look. Maybe someone was struggling financially after a divorce and someone didn't feel like they'd be able to stand on their own two feet, you know, because they were so used to sharing the responsibilities and they were in despair. But just by holding on to that belief, that hope and trusting in the process, it's like a whole new door, a whole new pathway has opened up and it's, it's, it's bringing light. It's like an opening to a new beginning. And this is like wish fulfillment. There's one, two, three, four, five butterflies. So this is transforming from, you know, like I said, that despair. This is 32 also. So I feel like, you know, the, the, the five isn't just about, you know, communication, but it's also about expressing yourself. You know, how do you express yourself? So you can't express yourself by speaking ill on yourself or speaking spells on yourself. You have to say, I can, I will, I am, you know. And when you do, you create and open up new pathways, new opportunities. And we have um, tweet here, heaven. So heaven is blessing you with some sort of um, some sort of wish fulfillment. And this is going to put you in the spotlight. I feel like a lot of people are going to witness this 31, 31, that's 4, 4, that's 8. So this is wish fulfillment. And I feel like things are going to improve. Like with be healthy, you know, this is like health is wellness, health is wealth. Um, so I feel like not only are you going to look good, but I feel like you're going to feel good. I feel like things are going to be very um very balanced in your life, you know, and this is bringing and drawing the attention of many. It's like many people will see you in this new light. Many people will see you um, being blissed, you know, being being acknowledged, being rewarded, being recognized for something that you do. You know, I feel like it's because your your healers. You know, every great healer has to first heal themselves. So with be healthy, this is about, you know, accountability. You have to be healthy. You have to be in spiritual alignment in order for the good to come to you. You got to break free from the, you know, the despair, from the anguish, from that turmoil, from the, the mental and spiritual blocks and focus on the health and wellness. Focus on the self. Because you already have Baba Ogun assuring victory. And then we see high honors. So you're being acknowledged by your spirit team. And these are your ancestors, your angels. According to Tweet, we have health, um, heaven plane. So these are blessings and blessings and opportunities coming from the divine, from your angels, your ancestors. So why is be healthy here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is be healthy here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? Thank you so much. And so we have change. What did I say? Changing perspectives. This is about making healthy changes, doing what's necessary, feeling like you've done everything you could to try to work a situation out or sort a situation out and finally making a decision that's going to be best for you. This is about, you know, self-love, self-worth, self-value also. This is also about you moving away. Perhaps you're going to be moving away from a situation that made you feel stuck, stagnant. Some of you are relocating. Maybe some of you all are going to do some more traveling this year. You're going to be more mindful to travel, to visit family, loved ones. I feel there's a masculine that could be coming to visit you because I see a masculine and he's like, you know, coming out with um, a suitcase. And I feel like you have somebody, you know, that wants to heal a connection with you. They've changed their mind about this. I feel like there's a positive change. And we have Mary J. Blige every day it rains. So this person, um, you know, they feel your your absence and that's why they're willing to come towards you. I feel somebody's had an epiphany. This person with this nine and change, you know, I'm thinking of like the nine of swords, the nine of wands. You know, so this is somebody who's conflicted, you know, or who was conflicted, but now they have some sort of clarity. He's standing right underneath this lamp, you know, this street lights. 
and this is shining down on his crown chakra. So it's like he's had that epiphany. Remember, um, Billie Holiday was saying, now or never. And then we also had Kem singing, um, you're on my mind. So this person is thinking about you a lot. That's why I was picking up the nine of swords, the nine of wands, you know. They're willing to fight. They're not willing to give this up, you know. And they know they have to come in and be healthy. They know they have to come in and they have to show that they have changed. Changed behavior is the only apology that Scorpios are accepting. So it's not just about, you know, somebody coming in and saying the words, I'm sorry. It's like you want to see I'm sorry in their actions, in their behavior. You know, you want to see them take accountability. You want to feel that they've atoned for their sins, you know, for their wrongdoings rather. And so I feel like this person is coming to you as a changed person because they know that you are not, you know, you're not going to put up um, with anything that's toxic, which is why you initially uh, left the connection to begin with. You know, you focused on loving yourself. And with Mary J. Blige, every day it rains. Maybe this person cries, sometimes thinking of you, thinking of this connection. Maybe this person sees the error in their way, sees how, you know, they negatively impact, you know, impacted this relationship. But they've never given up hope that they could, you know, sustain it or repair it. That's why it says believe you can. So maybe they really, you know, they, they got a dose of karma. They went through something really, um, really traumatizing, really painful, you know. And it was like just when they was ready to give up, it's like, you know, they still were loyal. They still were faithful. They still were hopeful, you know, to this connection, to you. And it's that hope. It's them thinking about you. It's them praying and sending up the prayers and the petitions and you know, this is what's possibly going to transform this situation. So they're going from this energy of being in despair to, you know, following the light. You know, the light is you. That 35 is the eight. So you radiate love and light. So they're willing to follow you where you are. And with Be Healthy, they're going to come towards you with, you know, a whole new attitude. You know, and with this courthouse... I feel like this is all about karma dharma. You reap what you sow. You get back what you put out there in the universe. Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. And I feel like this person, that same 23, they had to go through this. This is like, you know, tough love. The divine had to teach them, you know, you don't treat people how you don't want to be tr treated. So this person did a lot of dirt. They did a lot of, you know, maybe they had a lot of um, negative people. They realized that. You know, you were the loyal one. Everybody else that they trusted did not deserve their trust because they ended up doing to them what this person may have done to you. But with this courthouse, I feel like this is, you know, karma. This is about karma. See that? Mature woman. You was mature. You was dignified. You was integral during this whole ordeal. Even when this person was doing you dirty, it's like you've learned. You've evolved, you know. And this is a very mature woman, very grown, very balanced, very spiritually aligned, very grounded. This is someone who's like, you know, this person realizes like um, just how um, much of um, a blessing you were in their lives. And so we have a Mel LaRoe searching for my soul. So I do feel like this person is like, you know, soul searching is going through the dark night of the soul journey, like I said. I feel like that's how you all have had this breakthrough, uh, breakthrough because you've had to go through your dark night of the soul journey. And now your person, your special person, your divine masculine, they are also going through this journey because, as we all know, mirror reflects. So they're a mirror image of you. Who you used to be is who they are. You healing thyself has triggered, activated your person to heal themselves, to break free from their addictions, to break free from their toxic connections, from those, you know, dead end jobs, you know, faulty belief systems. You know, this is about healing that inner child within themselves. And they're ready. Now they know that, you know, health is wealth. Now they know that they have to be vibrating on a higher frequency to even get your attention because they see you as very mature. So they know you're not going to put up with the bullshit, whether you're feminine or masculine. So why is financial freedom here? Thank you, spirit. So look at this false person. So somebody was dealing with a false person. Somebody was only dealing with somebody for the money. Somebody realized that somebody was using them for the coins, using them for just stability and security, ultimately. 
somebody realized, you know, with this eight, you got eight and nine. So that's why this person is making the decision to move because whatever they was dealing with, whoever they could have chosen, you know, over you, whatever karmic, it's like they realized somebody was wearing a mask. Somebody was not their authentic selves. Somebody they thought they knew, didn't, they didn't know. And with searching for my soul, this is definitely that incubus, succubus energy that they was dealing with. Let leech. Somebody trying to live vicariously through another person. Somebody seeking to be taken care of. And so your person had to search for their soul because they realized that you never was in their pockets like that. You was never superficial and materialistic like that. But this false person was. And it causes it caused some 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 there was some some heated exchanges. And I'm seeing some initials here. So maybe somebody's uh, first name begins with N. I'm seeing a C. I'm seeing an M. So Mary, Carrie, Corey, Carlene, Carmen, Kane, Nancy, Megan, Monty, Morrow, Millard, Mark, Michael, but I feel like the masculine realized they was dealing with um, a seductress, a seductress, you know, this uh, a female that seduces, a female that uses sex as a weapon, uses sex to entice, to lock someone in, to keep them stuck. You know, look at this. This led to the death of someone. It could have ultimately led to the death and the demise of a relationship also. This could be why somebody went through some sort of legal proceedings to dissolve a marriage because someone realized someone was not who they thought they were. Someone they were initially planting seeds and roots with, obviously because they're in court together. So this means that there was a marriage, there was some sort of seeds planted, children involved, bills, money. There was entanglements, as I was saying. And someone may have a strayed you know, someone could have strayed. They weren't loyal. They weren't faithful in this connection. They could have stepped outside of the relationship and got connected or got caught up or, you know, stuck in some sort of uh, incubus, succubus relationship. But the person they was dealing with was only out for money. So this caused the end, the demise. This is the death of something. This is the end, done, done, fin. I feel like you've also, you know, you've gone through some sort of, uh, you know, sudden upheavals, you know, painful losses. Maybe you've also lost loved ones, maybe a grandmother, aunt, brother, father, you've lost a loved one. And maybe that's, you know, kind of like what motivated and encouraged you all to be more focused on loving yourselves, you know, to be more focused on taking care of you. Because remember, you had heaven. So heaven was, you know, absolutely um communicating with you, you know, giving you those little nudges, giving you spiritual guide, you know, kind of spiritually guiding you. I feel like that's what led to someone making the decision, you know, to be healthy, be healthy, be, you know, take care of you first and foremost. It's about self-preservation ultimately. And I feel this masculine energy, um, same masculine energy here has discovered that there's a female that they're dealing with that was not real. And I feel like they're also seeing, you know, that that's the reason why something within the connection between you and them, maybe this is a past person, an ex, or maybe this is just um, a past life love. Someone is now making the decision to be focused on the self because of the pain they've dealt with. And we have Jodeci, and this is called What About Us? So somebody that you have since cut off, deaded, ended things with, ghosted, you know, wants to come back saying, what about us? Because, you know, now you're focused on you. Like I said, you're single, you know, this is that, you know, enjoying your solitude. When it says selfish, loving me, myself and I, and enjoying getting to know me better. This is like you, you know, getting back to the self, you know, figuring out the things you enjoy to, um, you know, finding things you enjoy again, you know, prioritizing your needs, living for yourself, taking care of your needs, wants and desires. You know, aspiring to reach those goals that you set for yourself, those dreams, not forgetting the dreams, taking care of your family. You know, this is about you pursuing what you want to do and not living 
allowing others to live vicariously through you. Four, 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 four on the clock when I said that. So you are, um, you are now attracting, I feel, um, a lot of energy to you. You have a lot of people that may feel like you are wish fulfillment or may feel like you are um, the one that got away. They do feel this attraction. They feel drawn. You know, this chemistry even is like a synergy. And that could be what's what's compelling someone to want to travel to see you. You know, that's also changing their perspective on the situation. And with this coffin, you know, they, it's like they want to rekindle this connection or to heal it. So let's see. They also see that you've changed, that you've transformed. So uh, there's a card here in the upright. So we have community. What did I say? So you have a lot of help. You know, this is 12. That's three. So you do have a lot of help. I feel like, you know, as I said, your hard work, you know, is paying off. Your angels, ancestors see how hard you've been working to heal that inner child, to heal from past pain. And look, this person is definitely wanting to communicate because the name of this is uh, What About Us? So somebody may pen you a letter. Somebody may call you, text you and say, hey, what about us? This person is getting some sort of assistance also. I feel like their angels, their spirit team, their higher self is kind of nudging them to take action, you know, because three is also like an action number. You know, that's like ready, set, and then go to me. You know, I'm thinking of the three of wands. So that's when you set intention. But somebody is is becoming drawn to you. You know, I look at the three also as like, you know, someone wanting to return to reconcile, to apologize, you know. I also feel like you have a lot of angels a lot of protection you know they're they're protecting you they're the ones encouraging you also um to focus on yourself you know self-love makes you more attractive but you also teach others how to treat you you know and i feel like you felt a lot of love um coming from spirit your angels your ancestors literally like covered you protected you guarded you spiritually um you know spiritually they protected you so you have marriage here. Someone wants marriage with you. Someone wants to propose. Someone wants to come in and court you. And this is three. This is the divine feminine number. Someone sees your worth and value, sees that you're a great investment, sees that you are a natural born healer, sees that you're nurturing, loving, caring. This person is going to have your back. Look how he's hugging her, pulling her to him. He's going to be very supportive. This masculine coming in. And he has a smile on his face. This is a very, you know, happy union. So I feel like this is that type of union that will, you know, evolve into the happy house, happy spouse. This is like building a family, a legacy. This is what this person's intentions are. That's why they know they have to come to you correct with change. They've changed their perspective. They changed their ways, you know, and they see who the culprits were. They see that they had a lot of people kind of like leading them astray you know, distracting them off their path. This false person that they was, you know, given a lot of money, a lot of time to, they they found something out. And a lot of this was self-imposed um, mental anguish, confusion, you know, running from a situation, having, um, like I said, negative belief systems and ideologies. Maybe they're, they're a product of their environment. They grew up, um, you know, with these... Um, with these um, faulty belief systems pertaining relationships and love and vulnerability. And they've had to change those things because they see that um, it led them astray. It led them off the path and not to where they thought they would re you know, end up. And so now they're coming at you um, right and exact. We have um, Rakim and this is called um, New York. You're out there. And this is um, by um, Rakim. So I do feel like, you know, because they say the God MC, they call Rakim the God MC. And the name of this um, album is called Reloaded. So I do feel like this person, this could be a past person because they're reloading. So maybe this is someone from your past that's returning. And I feel like, you know, um, they're going to express some things to you that they never have um shared with you I feel like they also know that where they are is like prison they're not happy 
you know, they truly want to free themselves and maybe you're sending them the assistance, like I said, telepathically. 4949. That's 1313. So this this is like the death. You know, they're, they're communicating with you, like I said, telepathically. They feel that you are their twin. And they got caught up with a rat, somebody that they trusted, somebody that, like I said, you know, may have got them stuck in a situation where they feel, as I said, restrained. Somebody could end up in jail because of some of the things they did without thinking that this is what incubus succubus energy does. It'll make you feel imprisoned, bound, stuck, stagnant, you know. And with this number 29, I just feel like because that's like two pillars. So it's like there's there's a lot of downloads. There's a lot of uh, clarity. I feel like this this rat is also, um, you know, it's an animal totem. So it's almost as if this rat is giving this because um, this is a masculine's energy. So it's like this rat is giving this masculine um, some sort of download so that they can free themselves. You know, it's like spirit is working through this animal totem to help this person free themselves from what was restricted. Remember I said somebody was blocked. This is like an X, so that means blockage. And when you are in prison, feeling imprisoned, that could also speak to like, you know, needing to make the right decision. I know 29, um, that reduces to 11, and 11 is a power number. But because it's 29, that's two. So somebody needs to make the right decision or some the wrong decision could keep them stuck in, you know, this, this very parasitic connection, this very, you know, confining situation. So they got to break free from this, this curse, from this hex. They got to cut this karmic cord in order to, to be free. And so we got notorious B.I.G., Big Papa. So this is a masculine energy that feels um, stuck. You know, I don't know if the masculines are feeling stuck or if some of you feminines are dealing with a masculine that is stuck. But I feel like even if it's not a masculine, somebody is having to break free. And I do see that they do breaking generational curses, yokes. You know, you're powerful. You know, so I feel like Scorpios, you are responsible because it says be healthy. Health is wellness. So I feel like you've already healed from past traumas, from childhood traumas. So you are sending messages telepathically, intuitively to your person for, so that they can heal. You know, it's like you're helping them. You're triggering and activating your person. Why is this incubus succubus energy here from my beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? Why is incubus succubus energy? Thank you so much. So somebody will break free. See that? I can't make this shit up. So you are helping someone. Someone is going to, and look what number it is with this 25. That's the seven, the crown. So you're helping someone, you know, with Big Papa. You're helping um, your divine masculine. You're helping a masculine energy. And this is by Notorious B.I.G. So I do feel like, you know, you're helping someone break free um, from a very toxic uh, energy. And there's going to be victory. There's going to be success. Why? Because the, the, the two of you are divine counterparts. You're doing it for love. It's like there's this, you know, you're assisting someone, you know, to, to free themselves from someone, something, even if it's an addiction or some sort of affliction. It's like you're waking them up, you know. And with the lovers here, I feel like your angels definitely have something to do with this as well especially with this um community card self-love makes you more attractive remember your person was searching for their soul mel laroe was playing so your person was searching for their soul when they realized and discovered that they was dealing with a false person this eight of swords this is them realizing they've been deceiving themselves they've been sabotaging themselves by not following their heart but following their loins their passion their lusts, and it didn't lead to anything but them getting burned because there's fire all around this masculine. So I feel like this masculine was burned by some sort of feminine, and that could be like literally or figuratively. And with incubus succubus, I do feel like somebody's overcoming something. There's a breakthrough. There's a victory. And this 25, it's like the angels are also assisting. So someone's angel, they're calling on their angels. And then you see the angel here, you know, 
this is like written in stone. So this is the divine masculine. This is the lover. So you two are meant to be in a spiritual union. And both of you had to learn uh, some karmic lessons and break free from karmic cords and certain soul ties. Because there was a lot of entanglements. And this is a very passionate love. Look how they're embracing. This is deep love, deep passion. This person will speak your love language. And so we have, um, this is Puff Daddy and this is called Auction. So somebody's going to be auctioning off their shit, like selling their stuff and packing up and moving, like relocating. Somebody may be just like, look, I'm, I'm out just to create distance space. Why is breaking generational curses here with auction? Somebody may have, um, dang, auction. What's the name of this? Let me see. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what comes out with the cards, Divine Spirit. I'm not getting anything with, but I'm hearing the song, Puff the Magic Dragon. So somebody was definitely doing some sort of hex. Because I was like trying to get something with auction, but that didn't come through. So I feel like somebody definitely, you know, um, was doing magic, you know, to keep somebody bound and stuck. And somebody's victoriously breaking free. Thank you, spirit. Thank you for that. Because I was a little stuck. <laughs> so why is breaking generational curses? But I was hearing that song so loud. Puff the magic. See that? Look at it. I can't make this shit up. Somebody was definitely doing some sort of curses to keep somebody bound and stuck. We just saw this card. It was on the bottom of the deck. I shuffled and then it came out. So this is what this person was being. They were stuck. It says breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords, and it says you're powerful and owning it. Congrats. So somebody is finally realizing, you know, that they were under some sort of spell, that somebody had them under some sort of spell. See this? And it was causing them mental anguish. It was causing them confusion, suffering from heartbreak, heart loss, Look at this. This is the mature man. Remember, you were the mature woman. So you have a mature man that realizes like in separation from you, they're incomplete. They're heartbroken. This is somebody who had to learn a lot. They're also from it at a distance from you. But look at all the books that's around him. So he is very wise, just like the feminine energy. So this is a very wise man, very self-sufficient as well. Very solid individual very practical, resourceful. This is the type of person, and look at that, what did I say? Remember, you're on my mind, this person's thinking about you. And they're heartbroken in your absence. I feel like, you know, maybe they made some decisions in the past that they regret, but this person watches you, I think they watch you. Even though there's distance, I feel this person realizes, damn, I love Scorpio. And if this is masculine, um, you know, I mean, if this is feminine energy, it could be a feminine realizing they love their masculine. But I do feel like there's a lot of thoughts running around someone's mind. The 16 is seven again. So it's like this person carries you in their spirit, literally. But someone is suffering from bad health. This is heartbreak. You know, this is remorse. You know, getting stuck in a situation that could have been avoided, you know. That's crazy. So let's see what else we got. We're going to use the dark grimoire and then um, one more message and then we're going to wrap it up. OK, so we have Knight of chalices and then we have the five of pentacles on the split of the dark grimoire. So the five of uh, the Knight of chalices, this is like that apology. Somebody's coming in to apologize for leaving someone out in the cold, you know. But it's like you've recovered. It's like you've you've almost had like an out of body experience. You were able to see everything you needed to see, you know, by being deceived, by being betrayed. See that? What did I say? Somebody is getting uh, karma, you know, for what they've done in the past. This is like karma dharma. Somebody's receiving karma for abandoning you. They're now going through what they put you through. This is literally how I'm seeing it. I feel like things are working out in your favor. We're about to clarify judication in Baba Ogun. And we have come smoke my herb. And then the hanged man. See this? See that? Somebody was definitely dealing with somebody who was um, 
I feel like you were dealing with somebody who had addictions, you know, because with the incubus succubus and then you had um, the um, despair. It's like somebody, you know, couldn't, they couldn't see the truth because they was under a spell. It's because somebody had them under some sort of love spell. If you look, there's like this mojo doll, you know, this voodoo doll and his pins all in it and it's stuck right in his heart and he has no mouth. So it's like somebody couldn't even, you know, they couldn't even be their authentic self because somebody was manipulating their energy, you know, and with that incubus succubus, somebody does break free. There's high honors, but someone does recognize or finally realize that someone was doing something um, real shady, real nasty, real ugly to them. And they discovered that. And see that, the death here. It was a death of a relationship. You know, somebody realized they, they, they hung themselves, to be honest. You know, because they wasn't looking at things from a different perspective. Um, they didn't see the full story. And so here with the Six of Wands. So this, this demon is trying to, to send... Um, some sort of energy to this masculine's way. See how this demon is handing something to him. His hands are to his side. The six of wands, that's like a victory. So it's like you, you outsmarted, you know, some sort of demon. You know, you outsmarted this demon. This demon was out to slay you, you know, but it's like your first eye was open, you know, and you could have cut that situation off. That's why I was picking up, you know, with the, with the feminine energy, even if it's masculine energy, it was like, you've learned, you've learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? You learned a lot from that connection. So let's um, cut the deck, clarify these messages. And the bottom of the deck we have, what is that? The three of wands. See that the three, and then you got three here. So this is literally like you're doing. You know, this is you being very patient, planning, preparing, learning, because that's what the three of wands is. You know, this is like a blessing that's coming um, based off of the work. And like I said, all those books shows, you know, just how um, how much you've learned in the process. You know, this is like, you know, you you seeking wise counsel, you really planning and preparing and strategizing. And there's a victory. There's something that's manifesting. And that's the success that you're about to get with the eight of chalices. See that? Believe you can and you will. So you was given to a situation and you were feeling like you weren't being um, appreciated. You weren't being valued. You know, this caused a lot of despair. It even made you question, you know, your own worth. Like you, you, you even suffered from perhaps low self-esteem, depression, um, and I feel like, you know, by you coming out of this state, um, it required you to stand up for what you believed in. The eight of chalices is like, you know, literally you making the decision to walk away from what no longer serves you. No longer willing to invest in a connection where you're not getting anything out of it. You believed you could find real love. You believed you can, you know, you deserved what you de what you asked for, what you required. And um, and you didn't give up. You may have felt despair, pain, you know, turmoil, but you didn't give up. And that's why a new pathway opened up for you. That's why you were able to um, you were able to achieve the success that you were able to ex um, get. So we have forgive them, father. And this is by Lauren Hill. So it's like that's another reason why you're being blessed is because, as I said in the beginning, like you, you remain very dignified, very integral. Um, in this process, you didn't turn into that vindictive person. Um, you didn't act like a scorned individual. Like you literally maintained your self-respect. And that's why a new pathway opened up because it's like something within your consciousness, something within your spirit, it kind of shifted. You know, you went through a startling metamorphosis. And I feel like it's because you focused on healing yourself. You know, this, this eight is the number of the star card. So that's not only about, you know, um, grounding yourself and pouring into you, um, but it's also learning to transmute, to co-create with source and to transform, you know, your ways of thinking, the ways of doing, the ways of being, you know, 
And so this four of pentacles, somebody's holding on tight to you, to this connection. Um, this is somebody who does not have, you know, a healthy way or means of communicating. Um, I'm hearing they're not assertive, uh, but they're changing, you know, they're changing that. So they're going from being a mute, from just, you know, suffering in silence, because that's literally what that is. They're holding on to something for dear life. But look at these demons. This is the energy that had them under watch. Remember, incubus, succubus, breaking generational curse. So it's like they were being watched. They were constantly under surveillance. You know, this person was constantly under surveillance, keeping them bound and stuck for financial reasons, for security reasons. Someone realizes eventually that they're with someone that's fake, that's a fugazi. But this person has been holding on to this connection. And with forgive them, Father, it's through the act of forgiveness can you truly be free, you know? And so somebody is now um, forgiving people for, you know, the things they know not what they do. And with be healthy, this is the healthy perspective. This is the healthy way to approach the situation so that there could be positive changes that ensue. So somebody now has seen the light. So why is be healthy here? I'm sorry, I'm all the way at be healthy. I ain't even clarify the um, believe you can. So why is believe you can and you will um, despair and pathway here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is believe you can and you will despair? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the eight of pentacles. So that's belief like none other. This is keeping your eyes on the prize. This is honing skills, mastering crafts, sharpening swords, focusing on the solutions, not the problems, and putting and pouring your energy into your creative projects into your passion, you know, not getting distracted by people and their ignorance and their nonsense. It's like what you give your attention to, it's going to grow, you know. So it's like whatever you pay your attention to, that's what's going to grow. And here you're obviously like focused on your stability, on your coins. After being in a place of despair, and feeling like you didn't have enough, feeling like you was down on your luck, you remained faithful to the whole, you know, to yourself, or you remained optimistic, I should say, because you believed you could and you could, and you believe you can and you will, then that's hope, you know, that's optimism, you know, that's trusting in your ability to transform a certain search situation. And with this eight and eight, that's the same energy, eight of pentacles and the eight pathway. That's what happened. You changed your mind, you know, and you realize, like, if I express myself uh, through my talents, then I will be my authentic self. You realize that with that 32, that five, remember I said that's about expression. Um, you know, it's, it's also the throat chakra, which speaks to, you know, communication and expressing yourself, but it's also expressing yourself articulate, um, artistically and creatively. And so that's what you're doing here. You're expressing yourself. So some of you all, you know, maybe you are, um, you are wood, you work with wood, you handcraft. I was picking up on handcrafting, sewing, building candles. And some of you absolutely wood carve, you carve wood. So we see here the queen of swords. So with being healthy, you knew that it was time for you to cut off people, places, and things that didn't honor your greatest, highest good. You knew that it was unhealthy to have a bunch of leeches, a bunch of toxicity around you, circling around you, sharks, snakes. And we have Out of the Blue playing by Ryan Leslie. So somebody feels like you just up and left them out of the blue, which is why they're feeling compelled, why they're feeling motivated to come see you. This is somebody that wants to communicate and express some truths. This is somebody that you've also cut off because you felt like they was being boo And you meant what you said. You gave them chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. And I feel like they tried to insult your intelligence. But I feel like now there's a desire to clear the air because somebody has changed their perspective. They're coming to you healthy. They're coming to you changed. A changed man, changed woman. So why is be healthy and change here for Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? And we have Ryan Leslie out of the blue. So somebody may reach out to you out of the blue. Somebody may call you out of the blue. Somebody may up and pull up and visit you out of the blue. Call you and be like, hey, I'm in your area. 
divine spirit of love and light. Why is be healthy and change here? We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the two of wands. Somebody's making a decision. Somebody's making a decision to come see you. They've changed their perspective. They thought about this situation. And this person, um, you know, may have, you know, inquired, may have asked advice, may have asked a couple of people like what they think about this. But I do feel like this person is finally making a decision to come towards you because we have change and then be healthy. And it says out of the blue. So somebody will reach out to you out of the blue. Somebody will call you out of the blue, text you. And the train is going by, so that's confirmation. See this? This person knows they was a fool in the past. They, they feel foolish because they trusted somebody that was straight up a master manipulator. Somebody that was straight up using them for money. Using them just out of greed, gluttony. And it wasn't just one person. I feel like they realized like their whole circle of friends were a bunch of hating ass, snaking ass people. Like nobody really rocked with them like that. They was around a bunch of foo-foos, a bunch of fugazi ass people, frauds, demons. You know, there was a lot of evil eyes. If you look, there's evil eyes like watching this person also. So it's like they got a lot of people spying on them, stalking them, watching their every move. And so they feel real foolish. But I feel like, you know, this person is sitting here in this um, in these restraints, this crazy jacket. And it's like the this light is shining down in their head. So they're finally able to see everybody for who they truly are. You know, they're finally able to see all of the snakes, all of the fakes. You know, they was completely duped. That's what you call you got got. And it was for their money. So they could have been somebody that was very materialistic, very superficial, feeling like, you know, they could just wine and dime people or just blowing a bunch of money. And so they gathered, they, you know, it's like the snakes gathered, the parasites, you know, the leeches, they jumped on, they clinged on. That's why this incubus succubus is here. But remember, with searching for my soul, this person is taking deep dives. You know what I'm saying? They can't move, their body can't move, but their mind is very active. You know what I'm saying? And they're starting to see the things they couldn't see before. And so we have right now Nas, and this is, um, I'm sorry, this is Guapoli Romantic. So yeah, these are people, you know, this is like their romantic connection. Whoever they was with is female. Or if this was a male who was duped by, you know, a female, or if the female was duped by a male, um, you know, they could have uh, come off as, you know, trying to romanticize you, but it was all seduction. You know, it was like sensual seduction. Maybe somebody used to do things like, you know, set the, set the tone, you know, get the ambiance right. And this is what this person could have got, you know, they could have got duped by that, you know. And so they didn't see what was really going on, didn't see the true intentions of this false person. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. See that? So this was being this somebody got duped by somebody that they somebody was really only there for the money, you know, because this Ten of Pentacles really speaks to like stability, financial security, a family. And remember, we had the adjudication. So this is somebody that realized and discovered like a wife or a husband was unfaithful and was only in the marriage, only in the relationship for stability, for security, for the money and nothing more. And I feel like there's some sort of um, end to this family dynamic. You know, there's an end because somebody is realizing that somebody was being fake. You know, the tens always um, denote an ending. So there's an ending to some sort of financial situation or some sort of family situation. Someone built a family, a nucleus with another person and it ended. And with romantic, maybe there was a lack of romanticism. Maybe somebody felt like they didn't do anything, like there was no, um, you know, there was no date nights. There was no, because I see this person here. There's like a person all the way up at the top of the stairs looking in. And then all of these people, you know, are surrounding, you know, this, this, um, this couple here. And it looks like it's uh, two men and two women. 
And then there's a bunch of ghosts and goblins and demons surrounding this. So as I said, maybe there's, um, and then somebody is seen like at the very top. You see that person there kind of looking down at what's happened. And it's like he opened up the door and he sees, it's almost like a ceremony. So it's like there were several people involved in keeping someone in some sort of spell and some sort of hex. Like maybe somebody was trying to do like a um, arranged marriage or maybe somebody just had. Oh, oh man, I hope I didn't mess up the video. Hold on. Okay. So maybe somebody was in like a an arranged marriage or maybe this is just somebody who is starting to realize like everybody in that friend group, that circle group, people at their places of employment is just fake. The Ten of Pentacles, that's like making that decision. It's time to leave. It's time to exit stage left, find something else to do with the Five of Wands. You know, it's like this is like secret competition. You know, this is secret competition. This is somebody who's looking at these individuals now with a whole different perspective. And they feel like they have romantic feelings towards you, Scorpio. Because it's like she just said, say the same words at the same time. So it's like they, they realize and with you, they had more, you know, of that chemistry, more of the, that, that connection. And I feel like with this community, it's like there, there's forces pulling the two of you together to bring you into alignment. Let's see. Why is selfish loving me, myself, and I in community here? For our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the five of swords. See that? So this is why you're loving yourself because you realize you had a bunch of people who was not rocking with you. These were people who weren't praying for you. They were praying on you. People looking to take you down. They're hunting you down, chasing you down. You know, this is negative. This is what you had to let go of. These were people who felt like you owed them something, felt entitled. People demanding time and energy. And look at all these different people. These are like energy vampires. Look at it's like demons, you know. So this is really like when you disconnect, you can really see the forest from the trees. And you were able to see what you was dealing with, the forces that were working against you because your angel stepped in and assisted you spiritually, protected you from these demons, you know, and they told you to turn around and confront your fears. Don't run from shit. Just set your guard, set boundaries. But this is what you was dealing with. You was dealing with a lot of secret enemies, haters, jealousy. These are people out to get you. And that's why it was important for you to create a boundary. You got the Ten of Swords. So this is like deep heartbreak this is like painful losses something grew bigger than you could even you know imagine like you couldn't even ignore the issues you know you've suffered a lot of pain a lot of losses I said had to heal from childhood trauma you know you had to heal all of those um, circumstances you know at a soul level and when you do your internal work, you now become beautiful. You're attractive to others. We got Jay-Z, can't knock the hustle. So somebody, you know, people who were rooting against you, trying to work against you, it's like they couldn't knock your drive, your drive to be better, your drive to heal. You know, they couldn't knock you because what's divinely meant for you is divinely meant for you. You went through everything you went through so you could get to this place. So you could be traveling into orbit. You know, as Alex Isley was saying in the very beginning, like I said, I feel like y'all are going to be completely elated and it looks like you're being repaid, you're re being rewarded and you're being acknowledged for going through something very painful. I feel somebody is also experiencing this right now that is meant for you, somebody that's coming in, somebody that's your person. I feel that they are, you know, now finalizing you know, the, their relationship, their circumstance. Why is you a beauty in every fashion of the word and marriage here for our beloved Scorpios? And so we have the four of wands. I can't make this up. Four of wands is clarifying marry, uh, marriage and you are beauty in every fashion of the word. So this is your divine masculine coming in. They are drawn to you, attracted to you. They love you. They want you. And whoever is trying to work against this connection cannot knock this connection 
because this is divinely meant for you. This is a wish fulfillment and your angels and ancestors are bringing this union into fruition. There is a spiritual presence here. Like there's definitely a spiritual presence. And with the knave of swords, I feel like communication is coming. And you have the nine of pentacles here. This is also clarifying this. Someone sees your worth, sees your value, sees you as a great investment, sees you as someone worth building a, a legacy, a family, someone that knows that you bring joy into their life. And whoever is hating on this connection, they ain't going to be able to knock the hustle because this, this is a spiritual connection. This is a divine counterpart that's coming in for you. You got the marriage card and the four of wands. This person means business. They want to plant seeds, roots. They want to build a happy house, happily ever after. This is somebody that's going to be your life partner. They're going to be there to the beginning of time. And this is also someone that matches your love language. They match your fly. They w desire the very same things you desire. And they're breaking free. So somebody that's trying to block this connection from manifesting, they're going to have a very... Um, Rude awakening is what I'm hearing. Why is Incubus Succubus high honors here for Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? Thank you. And we have the Ten of Chalices. See that? So love is going to prevail. This love that the two of you share is going to prevail over whatever this Incubus Succubus energy is that's trying to block someone and keep someone stuck and stagnant. That energy is not going to be um, beneficial and you got the ace of wands someone is going to take action move away someone feels this passion toward you ten of chalices is the ultimate love someone has to break free from someone that they no longer have that chemistry and that connection with because it was only a karmic lesson it was only a relationship to teach them how to stand up for themselves to love themselves to put themselves first and to notice the red flags when you're being used and to be more assertive I feel like somebody was very passive you know, but when you heal that self, when you love that self, you start to see you radiate and attract, you know, not only do you radiate the light and do you glow, but you start to attract all beautiful things to you start attracting people, circumstances, situations. And so we have, um, only girl in the world playing. So somebody is, is definitely looking at you as you're their person. With you are beauty in every fashion of the word. That's the reason why they want to marry you. That's the reason why this high honors is here. Because somebody's going to propose with this ten of cups. This is the ultimate love. This is the ultimate love connection. I feel this has been um, a work in progress. I feel this is strongly somebody you may know or someone you know from a past life. But this is someone who could have chosen another person over you in the past. And now they're realizing, looking back and reflecting, you know, looking back in awareness and seeing the errors, seeing that they align themselves with, you know, some falsy, false individuals. And there is distance and they will need to travel. I feel this person definitely um, is ready to take like a leap of faith and ready to just dive in. You know, they feel like, you know, because this is like into orbit also, like she's floating, flying almost. So this person feels like, you know, this connection with you, it makes them feel like they're on cloud nine. And they're very sexually attracted to you, drawn to you, and ready to take action. And they're going to communicate and confess to you that you're the only girl in the world that they desire, that they feel this love. You know, why is break, um, breaking generational curses and imprisonment here? And we have the will. So things are definitely turning around in their favor. This is about destiny. You know, this was about them, you know, needing to figure out who, you know, what secrets, you know, what snakes they had around them slithering, you know, what dark entities were working against them. Because what they see here now with the wheel of fortune is like things are going to start turning around. You know, things are coming full circle. So whatever these individuals were able to do and get away with, it's like now this this prison will, you know, this this door will be unlocked or this lock will be unlocked. And it's because the divine is, you know, opening up an opportunity. And it's because something that's destined is going to um, manifest itself. I strongly feel like um, someone has discovered someone was doing some sort of spell work because if you look at this card it's like this person is looking through the trees and he's watching these people you know 
you know, doing, conducting some sort of spell or some sort of ritual, I should say. And this ritual was what was keeping someone like stuck in some sort of generational curse or bound. And so through discovering that, you know, they realize like you're the one with this 29 that also could speak to like you doing, um, you know, your own spells to free your person, whether you're sending energy to them remotely. If you know who your person is, if you don't know who your person is, you could even be, you know, just asking your angels and your guides to protect the person that's meant to come into your life to help them, you know. And with this five of wands, they got a lot of competition, but I do see that they do end the relationship and they do, you know, they do slay the devil. You know, this is the person that is, um, you know, it's almost I'm hearing they're fighting for their lives, but there is an end, you know, the death of a relationship, the demise of a connection. And there is freedom in that because this person does finally see, you know, the illusion. It was an illusion. It was a, a, a magic trick. Remember, I was hearing puff the magic dragon. I was hearing that. So somebody was definitely doing some sort of magic spells, keeping someone confined and stuck in a connection, in a situation. So let's see what else we have. We're going to get some goddess guidance and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have prosperity here. See that? So the universe is pouring out these blessings. You're going to be very financially set. Like whatever you were struggling with in the past in terms of like maybe you were waiting for a job or waiting for some sort of opening for money. I feel like y'all are going to be completely straight when it comes to finances and when it comes to love. Because you have someone who only has eyes for you. You're the only one in the world. That's, the, that's what's playing right now. And, and he's saying, girl, they don't they don't know of your worth. So it's like this person, you know, this person that's coming in is, is very compassionate. And it's almost as if they've gone through similar life lessons. And so now the two of you are going to be you're going to meet in the middle. It's like you're going to be aligned. That's why I was picking up this energy of, you know, this masculine that's going to be super protective of his woman. You know, he's going to protect her. He's not going to let her hit the ground if he's fallen himself. That's the type of masculine you ladies are attracting and fellas, you're attracting that type of fit female, that type of woman that is going to be there for you. Good, bad or indifferent. Not going to be superficial. There's no superficialities here. I feel like people have learned um, that the true value, you know, value is in what you, you know, what you place in it. You know, money can't hold value unless you you believe it holds that value if that makes sense i hope that makes sense but with this prosperity there's there's an overflow you all are overflowing you know and Vaughn just wants you to take that leap of faith surrender surrender to your heart's truest desires take that leap of faith somebody's willing to take a leap of faith to come towards you divine spirit of love and light what messages you have for our beloved Scorpios from the Goddess Guidance deck. Messages. Oh, so they gave me my messages. These right here. And we're going to put these back. Bottom of the deck, we got past life. So like I said, this could be a past life connection, which is why when you initially meet this person, you will feel like you've known them forever. Even when you bump into people and it's just like there's something about them that feels familiar, it's because you've knew them in a former life, you know. So what we have here is be strong. So this is why you, you, you stood erect. You was very strong, even when things got difficult, even when that relationship took a turn for the worse. It's like you, you remained strong. You leaned on your strength. It was hard to go through that divorce. It was hard to go through that separation. It was hard to move out of that home that you lived in with your person. It was hard to now be independent by yourself. It was hard to have to handle the bills on your own, but you did it. You realized you were stronger than you gave yourself credit for. And that's why Baba Ogun is blessing you with the breakthroughs and the victories and the success. Because some of you all called on Baba Ogun. Some of you all, he may be your spiritual parent. But I feel like this is why you're having this happy outcome. Because you leaned on your strength in the times where it was necessary. You have Unak. Easy does it. So somebody who was really um, trying to control the narrative or control the situation and circumstance things got out of their out of their control and i feel like this is like you know someone feeling feeling almost overwhelmed 
you know, but needing to trust the process. Divine timing is always of essence. So it's almost like whatever lessons they had to learn, I feel like the masculines had to learn a lesson of loyalty, you know, because there's this dog here. And so I feel like, you know, some of you feminine energy you was, was very faithful to someone, very loyal, I should say, loyal to someone, even when, um, even when they hurt you, you know, and I feel like that spoke volumes because somebody is, is really, um, their conscious is weighing heavy on them. Whenever you got to put your hand, your head in your hand, that's like, damn, it's like you, you are overwhelmed with, 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 uh, with guilt, you know, somebody could have done some things that really jacked up the money and it really affected the household. And so we have, um, overdose and this is called manifesto. So yeah, somebody, like I said, they got their own way that they want to, you know, want things to happen. You know, they have this, this, you know, they're trying to control the narrative of the story. You know, they probably, like I said, made some decisions in terms of jobs, made some decisions in terms of relationships. And um, it didn't pan out the way that they thought. And it was because it was about them changing their perspective, you know, needing to heal, needing to refocus the energy. I feel like that's what you did. You know, you just said, you know what, let me let me just take a woosa. Let me take a moment and just allow things to naturally happen, to realize and trust the process of divine time. And things don't happen to you. They happen for you. So I feel like here, a lot of you started to really just, you know, focus your energy on a skill, on a gift, on a hobby, on a passion. You got out of this feeling of despair, thinking about the problems, and you jumped into the energy of being proactive, being, you know, more proactive opposed to reactive. And so the divine is saying, just take it easy, take it light. Things are going to happen beautifully and positively for you. Just trust the process. Don't back down came out. So we have be healthy and then we have change and then we have the two of wands. So somebody is absolutely going to come in and they're going to express how they feel. We got Piano and I playing by Alicia Keys. So somebody could be listening to music, you know what I'm saying? And it's helping them to, to see things from a different perspective. You know, this person is, is, you know, maybe they weren't as assertive in the past, but now they're going to be assertive. Like I said, somebody may pop up on you, you know, because you got the change card. And um, there was a couple of songs that was playing where it was like um, Now or Never by Billie Holiday. So someone felt like they need to, you know, bust a dope move. It's going to be now or never. They can miss an opportunity. So they're going to take action. They're going to travel to see you. They're going to call. They're going to reach out. You know, and they've made this decision already. The two of wands. This is like them, you know, kind of going back and forth in their own mind, maybe even asking, you know, friends and family what they think. But this is about them ultimately making a decision that they believe in and standing up to what they believe in. And so with this, you know, this um, spear, you know, I feel like that's air energy. It's very similar to like a sword. So somebody will communicate. They will express their feelings. They will say what they feel. They've had a change of heart. They see things clearer. And so we have a Kua Allrich. They feel like you're also hard to get because they know that, you know, whatever they've done in the past to which they feel like, you know, the need to apologize, the need to try to set the situation right. It's like they can't deny this burning desire, this fire they feel for you, this passion. And this is what they want to express is that emotionally they love you. They carry you there in their spirit, but they know it's going to be a hard. It's going to be hard to to um, express this because maybe they've done some things in the past um, that could be really, um, really damaging. And I feel like it has a lot to do um, with them being, you know, like I said, um, under some sort of control through somebody you know, manipulating their emotions, their energy. But we have prosperity here, abundance here. So there's a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity here. And then you're going to attract, you know, a lot of fake Fugazi people here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is like wish fulfillment, success, abundance, stability, expansion, growth, opulence. This is better days ahead. But this is also needing to 
you know, to be mindful of the people around you, people that is circling around you. You know, that's like what predators do to their prey. They will circle around them. And so this is why people are circling around because you got the Ten of Pentacles, you got the Abundantia, and you have financial freedom. So you have a lot of people who is absolutely feeling um, envious, jealous, you know, you got a lot of people being fake happy for you, you know, false person. This is like somebody wearing a mask, pretending to be cool, pretending, you know, just smiling and beguiling. But the divine is blessing you and rewarding you. But you got to be mindful to use discernment and to see people for who they are. Trust the energy and the vibration you feel and pick up from people. And with hard to get, you know, you have to be hard to get like you got to play hard to get. Don't just be easy pickings for some folk because you do have some predatorial energy, some frenemies, some fugazis, you know. So it's like you got to be able to um, use discernment. I also feel like your person, whoever you're attracting, you know, they, they have a lot of um, wish fulfillment coming in as well. Or there's abundance that's being showered, showered upon them as well. And this is like also something they're dealing with in terms of needing to be mindful of who they have around them. We got true love here. So you've learned, you know, that self-love makes you more attractive, as I said. You've also learned that, you know, setting boundaries is necessary, you know, especially for your own um, peace of mind. I feel like, you know, you could have been somebody who wasn't necessarily a yes man, yes woman, but you could have been somebody who was always readily available to help others. And so you had to create a boundary. You had to learn to say no. And you had to preserve, you know, self-preservation. You had to preserve that, that energy for yourself. You had to take care of you. You had to prioritize. And I feel like, you know, by you loving on yourself and praying to your angels and guides, it's propelling the universe to send you true love. Like I said, when you love yourself, you teach others how to treat you. And so the universe is going to match you with someone that's going to speak your love language. And the both of you are going to bask in a lot of abundance and success. Fertility. What did I say? This three. This is like the divine feminine energy. And there you got Astara, the divine feminine in the goddess guidance deck. So you're very fertile. You're birthing new ideas. You're creatives. You're master manifestors. You're very successful and you're attractive. You're attracting a lot of people, a lot of things to you. You're naturally like you're magnets to everything you want. And you have someone who sees you as that divine counterpart, someone that they would like to, you know, invest long term, someone that they would like to build that family, that nucleus, especially with the four of wands and the nine of pentacles. It's like they see your growth. They see how much you've grown. They see how much you've transformed. And these are people who did not see it initially. You know, maybe they had some sort of superficial um, belief system. You know, they were going off beauty, physical beauty, you know, and not, you know, the beauty within. So this is what somebody's changed their whole perspective. And we have fabulous here. And this is called the plug. So I do feel like this person definitely... You know, they, they see that you are, you know, you are the yang to their yin, the yin to their yang. They feel that you are the plug. Like you complete them, you know, that you're the one that can um, balance things out. You're the one that can bring, that you could bring joy and happiness. You know, this is somebody that you could have children with. You know, if you don't have children, I feel like you and this person will make babies. I feel like up to two children, maybe you have two children. If you are a uh, feminine energy, you could have two children. I feel like you're also being blessed because some of you have been single parents. You've had to take on, even though the father or the mother is alive or around, it's like they're very, they could be, they could have been inconsistent. And so you've had to be like mommy, daddy, you had to be daddy and mommy. You've had to like, you know, you've had to step it up because somebody kind of stepped back. And so I feel like you're also being rewarded for just being, you know, great mothers, great fathers for, you know, helping your children. 
for being great parents, you know, for just doing the right things, for being strong in those moments when you didn't even know you had the strength to push on, to move on, to push. You know, it's just like you're, you're being rewarded and somebody is going to value you, value that. They see that in you already. They see you as someone that doesn't need anything, you know, like you don't want for anything, but they want to give you the world. They still want to give you the world. They see that you've worked hard. It's like you're, you're already self-sufficient on your own. And this can be very intimidating, but I feel like you're attracting somebody who's, you know, who's been through similar experiences. So they're going to be, they're going to be very, um, they're going to handle your heart with care is what I'm hearing. So let's get two more messages. So past life love, this could be why you're feeling this chemistry and the synergy or why this person feels that way to you. So we have sensitivity. See that? So somebody grew sensitive to this toxic energy and they, they're being told to be bold. You know, this is about um, doing what's right for them. You know, finally taking that leap of faith. Someone grew sensitive to this toxic shit, trying to keep them bound and stuck, which is why Baba Ogun is bringing somebody the victory. Somebody is going to win the war. You know, they didn't win the battle, but they're going to win the war against this demonic entity or this low vibrational energy here and they're going to finally take a leap of faith because they could see clearly now it's like they're looking at things from a bird's eye view and with the ten of chalices it's like they was confused i feel like they also were trapped in an illusion because they had somebody doing some sort of hexes and so it's like they're becoming increasingly sensitive and they know now to avoid you know these toxic relationships these harsh relationships and situationships and to be more protective of their energy and I feel like it's the love you and this person share whether on this plane because remember you have true love and it says the stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love so the love that you and another person share with this green card is what's going to produce or provide or, or um, result in some sort of um, victory you know and so we have, um, I'm not in love. Somebody's going to, this is, uh, damn, who is this? It goes, I'm not in love. I'm not sure who this is. Yeah, so somebody's realizing they're not in love with the person that they've been with. You know, somebody's having that epiphany. That 25 is like having the download, the epiphany, that aha moment, just having the illumination, the clarity. And what they do realize is they are in love with someone else. So they're growing sensitive. This is somebody who's like, damn, I'm not in love. The ten of chalices, they're going to move forward. They're going to move forward. They're going to move towards what they desire. And they're going to be bold doing so, you know? They're going to be bold doing so. So why is breaking generational curses, imprisonment, and the wheel here? Breaking generational curses, imprisonment. See that sacred space? I can't make this up. And transformation. So the transformation, the changes, the shifts, the ascension, the growth, the evolution that you've experienced. Remember that same, you know, those same butterflies, they're here. So you've transformed. You've gone through your startling metamorphosis. And every great healer becomes a great healer. Every great healer has to heal themselves. You've definitely sent up prayers, petitions. You've called on your angels and guides to heal a situation, to break you free to break someone free like i said some of y'all could have been asking your spirit team to just send love and light to the person that you are meant to be with but this is devoting time and energy to connect with your divine energy and that could be what somebody did because 29 is the 11 like i said this is like you know that's the 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 portal so it's like somebody received the downloads you know they dedicated time while they were imprisoned to pray, to connect, to ask for what they needed, and there goes the wheel. So there's the, you know, the turning point. Things are now going to turn around in their favor. And with I'm not in love, somebody's realizing they ain't in love with that person they could have been in the relationship with because they realized that they were, this was a false connection. This was like you know, a soul tie. This was not a real um, connection. And I feel like through you transforming, as I said, Scorpios, going through that change, you know, through the changes you've you've um, encountered with your past person, with your karmic, 
I feel like you've triggered your person and you've awakened them. You've helped them to see the truth. You've uh, helped them to see that they were not being their authentic selves, that they were surrounded you know, by a lot of fugazi energy, that they was stuck in a, a, a very toxic soul tie that was trying to keep them bound and stuck. See that? Mother Earth, bright future. Look at this. Somebody has to release the old so the new can come in. And I feel like because this says focused intention, that's you praying, sending up to prayers, petitions, doing visualizations, and learning to break free. And this bright future is here. And I feel strongly you all are like spiritually aligned, you know. And you got Diana, which is the high priestess. So you can feel and sense your person's energy. You could sense these changes that are um, in the making, you know, and I just feel like, you know, your your person's breaking the generational curses, the yokes that they are and have been imprisoned by. And now they're having some sort of breakthrough as well. You know, I feel like with this this uh, wheel of fortune it's just like this was destined. This is a part of destiny, your destiny and theirs. And I feel like, you know, this person definitely has been um you know, just communicating, you know, on a higher level because they've they have been carrying you in their spirit. And what they realize is they were not in love with the other person, according to the song. So this is beautiful, Scorpios. I hope that the messages um, resonated for you. I do see where you have true love, prosperity. You're in your power. Um, and I feel you're helping someone navigate, um, you know, some sort of toxic relationship, navigate their way out of that. Um, and a lot of you could be doing, like I said, sending um, some sort of energy, you know, some positive energy to that person so that they can break free from that relationship. Um, we have Jill Scott insomnia. So someone definitely was up in their head a lot, um, really struggling a lot, you know, with with how to do this. And I feel like, you know, they're finally, you know, seeing the truth, seeing clearly they're growing more sensitive Um and they're going to make the right decisions, you know, moving forward. Um, but this is absolutely a beautiful reading for you, Scorpios. Um, same messages are coming out. So this is really um, showing that you got some beautiful energy coming out. You know, fertility, um, the Empress energy and the marriage card both flew, up, flew out um, under the same suit with the four of wands and the nine of pentacles and you are beauty in every fashion of the word so this is absolutely how somebody feels about you which is why they could be suffering from insomnia um remember in the beginning you're on my mind was playing so when somebody's suffering from insomnia they could be up at night you know literally waking up from cold sweats um waking up in cold sweats waking up in the middle of the night like you know reaching for someone that's not there you know so i feel strongly you know the this is intensifying it's growing um and that's why somebody's going to bust a move and they're going to just reach out and say something because i do feel like they do watch you um if you do know this person if this is someone from your past um this is a secret admirer i'm getting secret admirer energy and i'm also getting the sense that this person um is very aware of um of what you, of what your, um, you know, what your expectations are, of what you're looking for. Uh, so they could be, like I said, you know, kind of like following you on social media. Uh, maybe this is somebody that you know, or you don't. Or this could be somebody who is, um, you know, who has set up a dummy account just to kind of track you, just to kind of like study you, just to kind of like you know, keep an ear in, you know, keep a, a eye out, <laughs> see what's going on with you, where your mind is, you know, what you're feeling, you know, so that that when they do come in, they could kind of, you know, it's like they're doing their um, their research, you know, they're researching, they're, they're figuring out the things you like, figuring out, you know, your interests so that, that when they do come in and court you, like it's just going to be like one and done, you know. Because this is the end goal. This is what they, you know, what they see when they think of you. They see marriage. Okay. But this is your reading, Scorpios. I hope the messages resonate. 
Um, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. And I want to give a big, 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 beautiful shout out to my soul sister, Divine Rain. Thank you so much, Queen for your love donations. You are truly appreciated. I think anyone who, um, who does that, I really truly appreciate the gesture and I rotate that back to you instantly and infinitely until next time, beloveds. Ashe.